So before we get started with this video, this is the Hearts and Hands Quilt Guild. And this is their meeting information. And this is how you can get a hold of them. You have their website, but also their QR code. And that'll take you to everything that you need to know. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And filling in for Valerie, who is still at home recovering from her hip surgery, is my mom. I'm mom. So, today, we are heading to Belleville, Illinois, to the Quilts from the Heart Quilt Show, and it's the Hearts and Hands Quilt Guild. Supposedly, they're gonna have about 300 quilts, some demonstrations, a bed turning. So, what are you looking forward to there, Mom? I'm looking forward to seeing all of the beautiful quilts, all the artistry, and um, just, uh, getting a look at all of the quilts. Alrighty, so come along with us as we Jay, and this time, Mom around, the Quilts from the Heart Quilt Show. So this quilt here is by Judy Burke, who is actually the featured quiltist, or quilter, at the show. This is amazing. And it said it only got third place, which I can't understand that. So, Mom, what do you think about this quilt? This is a wonderful quilt, beautifully done. And I guess she did it for a quilt shop. Uh, they asked her to do a quilt, and she did this quilt for them. Wow, that's amazing. Check this out, though. Zoom in here, check out the stitching and everything, huh? That's in the petals. Check out this quilt. It was made by Sandra Hustedi. And she saw on YouTube somebody who made a family tree quilt to look like a Scrabble board. She decided, you know what, I'm gonna make my own. So this is the Schroeder family. Check this out, this is amazing. And all of the words that are formed are the different names of the family tree. The amazing part is the lettering. And this quilt is massive. They have a humongous family. <laughs> Yeah, this is Play Date with Grandma in red and white, done by Jean Klein. And this is just wonderful. It brings back a lot of memories of sewing when I was uh, doing it for my children and sewing with my children. And I just love this one.
Okay, so this quilt right here is Best in Show. See how bright it is? It was made by Ann Steer. And it's called Friends of Baltimore. And her inspiration was her photo album on a trip to Baltimore. You can check the photo This is it. This is the number one quilt. The top dog of the quilt show. Congratulations to Ann. Uh, yeah, I know. Those grandkids are always so much smarter. Okay, check this out. And here's some of the stitching. So are you one of the judges? No, no, no. I just want to do something. But I'm not. I'm not one. Okay. I'm just trying to figure what the criteria was for best in show. Yeah, we have one that's all sitting in there. I love it. There's so many beautiful ones out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that one that's up on stage that's done up there. That is gorgeous. That double wedding ring. Oh, oh I haven't been up there yet. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it. Is it intricacy? Or what? I don't know. What's the category? But, I mean, you, you know, you, you can't see the stitches. And yeah. then it's a quilting in it. And the ideas that you put into it. There's a lot of things. This one here. I really, really like, I think it should have taken first prize. It's the daughter's three, and this was done for her daughter, and it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so this quilt is actually made by Heather Mance. There's some of the stitching. <laughs> so check out this quilt right here. This was made by Michael Pendergraft. And he made it for a friend of his who was a commander in the Navy. These are Blue Angels. This is an amazing piece. Hey Jay, look at this one. This is a jacket and a purse, and it's done like the quilts, and it's just gorgeous. It won third place. It's called One Kind of Tattoo. Check out this quilt here. It's by Laura Curry, and it's a tribute to Abraham Lincoln. And since we're here in Illinois, the land of Lincoln, I thought that this was appropriate.
These antique quilts belong to members of our guild, and we're going to show them all. I'm the first one. This is uh, Peggy Short, the, and uh, this one is Grandmother's Garden. Grandmother's flower garden pattern has been traced back for over 200 years. This quilt was made by Frances Fry about 1920-1925, and it has an unusual layout with green, with green spokes. And it is all cotton and hand pieced and hand quilted. The outer ring of the flowers are fussy cut, and it measures 77 by 82 inches. This one is called a Scrappy Broken Dish. This quilt was made by Frances Fry about 1940 from leftover scraps and discarded clothes. It is cotton, hand pieced, and hand quilted, and it measures 70 by 71 inches. This one is one of my favorites. This is a beginner scrappy quilt. Everyone has to start quilting at some time and somewhere. That's, is, that's the name of this quilt. It is handmade by scrap material. And note the different styles of piecing in the sashing. It was originally hand quilted. It was made by Genevieve Fry about 1926 to 1930. It was repaired a few times later with a sewing machine and it measures 60 by 80 inches. And this is the back of it. The quilt back is unique and she used several different sizes and colors. <laughs> this is a carriage blanket. In the time of horses and buggies, carriage blankets were quite common. This quilted blanket made of men's wear and wool yarn. And it has, it has handmade chenille with decorated stitching between the blocks. And it measures 56 by 68 inches. And it was made by Anne Shadell in 1890. And this is Harriet Zepfeld. Um, the top is, is a seven stitcher seven sisters quilt blocks. There are 58 star blocks plus several half blocks. The quilt was hand pieced by Carolyn Dender, Harriet's great grandmother. Caroline was born in 1877 and died in 1940. Each star is made of scrap material and it has 48 one and a half inch triangles. The points of the stars form a hexagon made of blue fabric. The quilt was later hand quilted by Harriet's great aunt, Laura. The backing was brought forward to form a binding, and it was machine stitched. This is a scrappy nine patch. The quilt belonged to Sharon Sullivan, by her great-grandmother, Millie Ann Quick. She was born in 1887 and lived in southwest Missouri. Mrs. Quick didn't believe she was very, very good with making quilts. Sharon recognizes some of the fabrics from her dresses and her mother and grandmother dresses. Both quilts are hand-pieced and hand-quilted. The first quilt is a scrappy improved nine patch with green background and it measures 68 by 85 inches. And this was Sharon Sullivan's quilt. This is her second quilt. This is called the Double Star. Sharon's second star project was made by Millie Quick. She used fabric worn by her family as she did, didn't let anything go to waste. Some of the fabrics were made from men's shirts. The quilt is hand pieced and hand quilted. It is uncertain what material was used for the batting. The quilt measures 60 by 72 inches. 
and in his belief, these quilts were made around the 1930s and 1950s. This is our last quilt, and this is one of Alice's also. This is an Irish chain. The Irish chain quilts are known for the, their diagonal design, excellent piecework, and brilliant use of colors in confetti style piecing. You will notice that between the diagonal rows are 11 rows of blocks, and every third row has two extra blocks, each having a sixth block, adding interest to the design. When this quilt was made in, in the 1920s, all of those pieces were hand cut and hand pieced. The border blocks are light blocks, light blocks starting with a dark blue block and all colors laid out in the same order all the way around the quilt. It is hand quilted cotton fabric and cotton batting. The quilt is made up of nine patched blocks, exactly two inches square finish. This quilt measures 79 by 97. This is an heirloom in the family, made by a family member. Um, that is all the quilts we have. Thank you so much for your attention. If you would like a closer look, you're welcome to come up. Okay, Mom, so what's this quilt? This is Birds in the Birches, and it's got one of my favorite birds, the Cardinal, on it, and I just love it. So this quilt here is also by Michael Pentagraf. It's called Moonwalking Santa. And this is for Val. Val loves Christmas. And this one is for her. The detail is actually amazing on this. Look at the trains and the snowflakes and the reindeer and the odd Santas. It's quite a quilt. All right, check out this quilt. This is called Hocus Pocus by Sue Quinn. And it looks like there's a bunch of pumpkins. And inside each one of the pumpkins has another design. This is pretty amazing. This is another one that Val would love because that's her other holiday, Halloween and Christmas. And if she could, she can bind them both. What I like about this is that there's some real spookiness in each one of the pumpkins. 
I mean, check that out. Check that skull out. That's pretty awesome. This is a pretty awesome quilt right here. So check out this quilt here. It's made by Heidi Shelton. And it has a weird technique. It's called the folded fabric technique. Mom, what do you think about this one? This is my 4th of July quilt. I love this quilt. Very interesting. I don't know anything about the technique, but it looks beautiful. Alrighty, the quilts from the heart quilt show is over. So mom, what did you think about the quilt show today? It was fabulous. I had a really good time. The quilts were amazing and I would love to come back again. So what I liked about it was I always liked the craftsmanship of the, of the quilts because you know that it takes a long time to make these quilts. They have to sew them. They have to put the stitching in. They've got to do all of the cutting of the materials and they got to put it all together. And it, it's actually like one big painting. It's like art on fabric. So that's what I'm fascinating about when I'm going to these uh, quilt shows. And I just have a real appreciation for the skill that it takes to make these quilts. Um, and also, I also love the colors and I love the patterns and all of that good stuff too. It's just, it's just an amazing, um, an amazing experience. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'll let you know when our next videos come out. It'll keep you in the loop. And uh, we just want to thank you for coming along with us and hanging out today, watching our video. And we want to thank you for mom and jaying around, but actually jay and valing around.